Hi my friends, it's Meredith with Soul Navigation, your evolutionary astrologer. It doesn't matter what your sun sign is, it matters what house your sun is in. Did you hear that? It matters what house your sun is in. And if no other astrologer on YouTube is talking about it, it's no small thing and it's important. And it's actually in some ways even more important than what your sun sign is. First, I've got to tell you, what is the sun, okay? The house that the sun occupies in your natal chart is going to show you the area of life where you're going to focus your vital energy. Unless you have a stellium, that means three planets or more, and especially personal planets. So if you have your moon, Mercury, Venus, or Mars crammed into another house, and that means three or more personal planets in another house, your sun sign house wins. It takes the cake, it's bingo on the board. Yeah, it's like bingo. It is the arena of biggest focus. It's the gold medal. It eclipses all the rest. So this is where your vital energy, this is where you will wear the crown. And so this factors the highest in your life. And your sun sign is going to show you how your soul will self-actualize. Self-actualize, and that's no small thing. What does self-actualize mean? Does anybody know? Leave me a comment below if you know. It is where and how in the arena that your soul will authentically become you. Self-actualization is the authenticity of you. The sun is the giver of all life. It is every single thing on the planet that has been birthed into existence. And so is the sun inside of you. Your sun sign is your everything. It is your essence. And it matters most. It is your identity and it is your individuality. The condition of your son is going to tell you how your identity will likely manifest. Let's keep going. This is going to be deep. This is going to be real. And this is going to be raw. Third house. Let's dive in. If you have the son in the third house, knowledge is important to you. And it's the center of your universe. This is the house of communication and the exchange of ideas. And you love learning. You are a knowledge whore. <laughs> Forgive me. I just love saying it. Oh, I love teasing you. And you know what? I speak to each house a little bit differently and you can handle it. So if you're a third house son, leave me a comment and let me know because I just love saying it. But you know it's true. You are. You are like a book junkie, a knowledge junkie. And um, you'd like sell out. You'd sell out for a knowledge. If you want to kill these people off, just tell them that you have a secret and you're not going to tell them what it is <laughs> about something that they value, you know, something that they really, really love. Like, I know the secret. But you enjoy passing on knowledge and that you've gained, that you've learned, and you're probably going to be knowledgeable to the point of a little bit obnoxious. Mm -hmm. You're going to be like the guy at the Trivia Pursuit, the, you know, the bar where they play Trivia Pursuit on the microphone. I got to hate that night. First of all, I barely understand the question, let alone the answer, but you're the guy that's like, oh, I know the answer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was in 1972 when, I mean, it's like, ah. How, how do you live with yourself? Like, yeah, it's so much information. But you're here to expand the mind and you're here to learn about other possibilities, other possibilities, chronic other possibilities, not just what you know, but what could be so. God, if that's not a mind trip, who's the third house son here? Because I want to know you. I'd like to spend 30 minutes with you. <laughs> An hour might be too much. You might overload me, but in, but 30 minutes would be exciting. Okay, I'm only teasing you with a bunch of love. You know that, right? But you're here to learn about the entire world. And you're one big, giant hypothesis of 
Well, it could be, well, the possibility is, well, if we added this, well, the equation could, and a Rubik's cube. I want you to think about, this is like the house of the hypothesis. These people crave understanding the equation from every single way possible. They have like a Gemini wrapping paper or a Gemini filter, even if they're a Scorpio, even if they're a Capricorn, but they crave understanding the world and how life works. And in order to adapt to it and expand, they have to expand themselves and their mind in order to adapt to the world as it changes. They love mental success. And through success, you um, come to understanding or the only way to be successful is through understanding the world. You can't understand the stock market if you don't understand the world. You can't understand uh, how much your house is going to sell for unless you understand the market. So these people are extraordinarily knowledgeable and they connect the friggin' dots. Like if you don't have a third house sun or somebody who has prominent third house uh, planets in their chart, wow, you're missing out. You're living under a rock. I'm telling you, if you want exposure, meet a third house sun. If you are a third house sun, please let me know and you can brag, but just tell me, how smart are you? Really? This is a house of high intelligence, but I want you to ask um, the first house if this is true that your analytics allow you to be successful in life because the first house is going to tell you it's not about analytics, it's about instincts. Mm -hmm. So the first house is instinctual. The second house is about routine hard work, showing up every single day and being your word and being loyal to it. The third house is about analytics. So it's very interesting how we all get to self-mastery and self-actualization, which is what the sun is about. The sun sign in your chart is how will you self-actualize? And we all get there from a different path and there are 12 paths. Let me continue about the third house though, because I don't want to, I don't want to shortchange these people. These people are incredible, but you know, you love exploring diversity and not just in people, but in understanding all options and all outcomes. And this is an exciting placement for the sun because there's just no end to it. It's like infinity. It's like, it's like trying all 32 flavors at Baskin Robbins and liking them all and walking in and going, which one am I going to pick? Daiquiri ice or chocolate chip or, you know, peanut butter fudge. Ooh, I like them all. So it's the world of opportunity and the world of options that can be debilitating when it is in the shadow side, but God, isn't it an adventure? And so many people pick daiquiri ice, you know, or st strawberry cheesecake every single time, but the third house soul wants to try all of them. It wants to taste test all of them. So it is exciting, but this is Gemini's natural placement. So there's a Gemini flavor to your soul if you're a third house sun. And it, it doesn't matter if you're a Cancerian sun that's shy and private. You're going to do some version of this. If your Cancer sun or Scorpio sun or Sag sun is in the third house. So your greatest cause or your greatest gift in life is to, to, is to develop knowledge in an unbiased way and to develop your intellect. These are smart people. And I'll tell you, you're going to need to develop patience. And um, there's a communication gift and a speaking gift and um, an intellectual gift with this house. You are super open-minded. I think that this house and the 11th house, probably this house more, is the single most open-minded house out of the entire chart. Even if you're a narrow-minded Capricorn or Scorpio where it's black or white or Leo, put it in the third house and you become open-minded. So the sign in which your sun is in is great, but the house in which it's in is the way it's going to move right? It's the way it's going to dance. So it's no small thing. So if you don't know your birth time, I'm going to cry myself to sleep. 
You've got to find it. You've got to write to the hospital. You got to interview the people that were there during the time you were born. You got to call your mother. You got to look in your baby book. You got to go get your birth certificate. Please, please, please tell me, you know your sun sign. And if you do, you should probably go order one of my gorgeous natal charts. They are so beautiful. So you can see what every house cusp is. I create the most beautiful charts. If you don't know about it, oh, just go watch any video. I talk endlessly about my gorgeous needle charts. I make them myself and um, they're custom made and they are beautiful because you can read all the cusps. You can read every single house cusp and you need to know that. Um, if you didn't watch the video, like find the headline of your life, go watch that video and you'll understand why the birth time is so important. You know, if you have a third house son, you're in a rush, you're in a hurry, you already want me to move on. And I want you to know that like your dad could have been quirky and intelligent. He could have been quirky, smart, and you didn't appreciate your dad until later years in life. And you can have a struggle with your siblings. They could be jealous of you or you could just be so emotionally detached. This is the house of the mind, not the heart. So these people are head over heart, but they're really good communicators and you're probably born to speak or write. Let me know, let me know what house is your sun sign in? I don't wanna know your sun sign. It doesn't matter. I wanna know your house. So